hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna try my hand at doing the um very popular denim duck nails and uh i'm really really excited to give these a try but i also quickly want to show you guys my nails i went in with just a layer of rubber base coat just to protect them and then i did the diy peel off base coat which is just some cuticle oil and top coat that's why my nails are looking hella moisturized and uh, yeah we're basically um, good to start with the nail application now here's the thing I actually don't have um, the duck nail tips so I looked around at all the nail like implements and nail tips and nail thingamabobs that I have and I realized if I use these nail forms and I um, face them the other way around they pretty much look like duck nails so I went ahead and just removed the little tail um, and then as you guys can see it just it looks like a duck nail to me and I also just open it up a little bit that way it's a little bit flatter and um, yeah it's more wider like the normal duck nail so I went off camera and I sized my tips and uh, <laughs> they, I went ahead and just arranged them in this my little flimsy setup over here and I just lined them up on my double sided sticky tape just so I don't get confused and I know exactly which tip is for which nail. So they started with the thumb quickly um, I really really wanted to make sure that they fit from sidewall to sidewall. I noticed that a lot of people struggle when it, with making sure that they fit from sidewall to sidewall especially with a duck nail um, shape so I really wanted to make sure that mine are sitting comfortably and they are nice and flush next up I'm going in with my poly gel and then I'm going in with my model one brush and some isopropyl alcohol and I start molding the poly gel onto the nail form and also wanted it to be quite thin um, that way um, it's just it just sits on the nail properly Once I'm done molding the poly gel, I went ahead and just placed it directly on top of my natural nail, uh, making sure that it's not touching my skin underneath. That's very important. And also making sure that it's nice and straight. Then I went ahead and cured in my lamp for 60 seconds. Now I'm popping the nail form off and I'm just using my cuticle pusher to do this and just lifting the form up on one corner it just pops right off which is really really cool. I'm sure you guys can notice how thin this is so we definitely have to go in with some more poly gel. So I went in with a good amount of poly gel and I'm basically just patting it um, going down the nail making sure that um, I'm distributing it evenly and also creating my apex and making sure that I've just got enough product onto my nail. Um, I really like working with poly gel, it gives you more than enough time to do this. Now let's quickly talk about this trend, it has been everywhere, every time I'm on TikTok I see it on my Instagram and uh, the other day I saw Evie um, created a set, I also saw um, Posh Nailed It um, also created a very beautiful set so I just really wanted to give it a try as well. Um, I had a whole lot of ideas that I wanted to try with this whole denim thing but um, yeah I was really happy with the one that I chose I also noticed everyone referenced stiletto nails in your coffin over on Instagram so I went ahead and checked out her reel and it was very informational especially when it comes to mixing the colors and the overall like denim look um, so I, I really really appreciated her video and her tutorial I'll leave it link in the description box if you are curious to see it um, and you can go check it out I 
pretty much went ahead and did exactly the same for the rest of my nails as you guys can see um and i was really happy with how the side walls were looking there were no gaps everything was nice and flush and i was pretty chuffed with myself that i came up with my own um quick way of doing duck nails i also liked the length because i didn't want them too long i'm not really familiar with duck nails they're not also my favorite shape but i was willing to give them a try so now as you guys can see i grabbed my hand file and i'm just smoothing it out the shape i also wanted them to have that crescent moon shape um, at the edge um, I hope that's what it's called. <laughs> I'm going in with my ceramic um, cone bit. This is perfect for shaping your nails. And I also just cleaned up underneath the nail as well with the same bit. Once I'm done with the hand file, I'm going in with my buffing block and making sure that they are nice and smooth and also just removing all those deep um, ridges from the hand file. And uh, I pretty much went ahead of camera and did exactly the same for the rest of my nails and this is how they're looking at this point. Really, really nice. Again, I'm not a big fan of this stuck nail shape but that's why mine is not extreme. I felt like it was just perfectly in between a square and a duck shape. <laughs> Now I wanted to show you guys the three colors that I came up with uh, because I wasn't really sure which one I wanted to do. So this particular one I mixed the blue from this palette with some white and the one next to it I mixed the blues with the turquoise and some black and that's the color that came out. And then the final color that I really liked which was the main one is the one on the lid here and with this one I mixed the blue and black and that was it and I was really happy with this one. To create the 3D elements, I'm going in with my Bone Pretty Extension Nail Gel. I'm also just going in with a layer of Protein Bond just to make sure that um, the extension gel sticks to the nail without any issues. I'm going right in and scooping some out with my cuticle pusher. I couldn't find my gloves, but I made sure not to touch this product with my bare hands. Again, you guys, please be careful. We're trying to avoid contact dermatitis and, uh, and allergies and all of that. So as you guys can see, I petted it down with the um, cuticle pusher and then I grabbed my silicone tool and uh, refined the shape and made those nice little pointed edges and uh, so that it looks like a pocket and I was really happy with how it turned out. Now for the middle finger i wanted to create the belt part of like sort of like a denim pair of jeans and uh, i wanted the one side of it to be 3d um but i will say at the end of the day it didn't really like pop out as much as the thumb but i was still happy that i pushed myself to try it and it was really really cool so i only created one side and i also created the little loopy thing that the belt goes through um, also with the extension gel and i went ahead and cured in my lamp for 60 seconds now that I'm done with all the 3D elements, I'm going in with my custom gel color that I mixed and I'm painting that on. I really enjoy applying gel with a gel brush. It just gives you more precision and makes sure that you don't get any on your skin. Um, for the um, index finger and the ring finger, I wanted them to be French. So I'm, at this point, I'm carving out my French. I'm also just um, leaving space for the part of the denim look that looks like it's ripped and uh, I went ahead and just fold in the rest of the nails. You guys, you know what I realized? That I never did a get to know me for my channel. So I thought, um, why don't you guys leave any questions you might have for me in the um, comment section. And on the next video, I'll go ahead and answer pretty much all your questions.
at this point i went ahead and put two coats of this blue and it looks so good i just loved it now it's time to add the denim elements i'm going in with my pinching tool i also cut up little pieces of my like a uh, of a makeup sponge and uh, i'm gonna just um, be dabbing into the gel um, you want to dab into the gel and then dab off on the side so that it's just not too much on the little sponge And as you guys can see, I'm just stippling away. You can also use a an airbrush if you guys have. Or like those little round, little puffy uh, sponges that come in a little pin. Um, anything at your disposal really. And just to create that nice denim um, aesthetic. I first went in with the blues, with the light, with the dark blue, with a little bit of the dark blue and then at this point I'm going in with the white. Again I dip into the white and then I dab a little bit off on the side and I really feel like the white just brought um, life into the set and made it look more like denim which is really interesting. It also um, gave life to the 3D elements because it, is, like, it just made them pop out a little bit more. After I was done with that, I went ahead and cured in my lap for 60 seconds. Now I'm going in and applying the tiny little stitch details. Yeah, I'm sure you guys get what I'm trying to say. I'm going in and making them quite close to each other and also quite small in reference to the size of the pocket itself. And I also went around the nail and did the same. Also, my nails were shorter, so I didn't want to do too much space between the lines. After I'm done with that, I wanted to add in a little pop of color, um, sort of like those little tags that like Levi jeans would have like in the corners of their pockets. And uh, I just went and added a little bit using the same red from the uh, Model 1's um, solid um, gel palette. And I really love this little detail. The red against the blue popped really nicely. Now I'm adding more detail onto the middle nail, creating a seam going down the pads basically. Um, and uh, at this point it didn't have to be perfectly straight. Then I went ahead and did the flap that the zipper hides under. <laughs> and uh, just made sure that it's got a nice little curve and then I went ahead and finished the other side of the belt area of the pants and uh, this was very easy to do I just drew uh, a line with the white gel and then I'm going in with just a dry brush and ombreing that um, upwards and uh, yeah and it was pretty much done I also added more of those stitch detailing on the loop of the belt and I'm sure you guys can see it. Now I'm going ahead and adding more details onto the rib part of the denim. I didn't want to add um, actual real denim because again my nails were much shorter. Also it was my first dark nail shape ever so I didn't want to just do too much because I felt like too much detail would just be you know your eye won't know where to focus and uh, so I'm going in with that dry brush again going around that um, perimeter of that rib basically and then once I'm happy with that I'm going in with my liner brush with a little bit of gel and I'm making tiny little stroke so that they mimic like frayed fabric. Mm -hmm. 
people i see a lot of people do this with the um, spider gel but you can definitely achieve the same look by just um, using your liner brush so i went ahead and finished up the snail i also went ahead and just um, added the little stitch details around the nail and i did pretty much the same for the ring finger and i finished up the pinky um, also the pinky didn't have a lot of detail i wanted the pinky to be very simple as you guys can see now because i don't have a lot of like charms and little things like that um, i wanted to add a little bit more detail so i'm going in with this gold chain that i have and i'm only going to apply this around the edge of the french both on my index and my ring finger um, again i've never ever done this in a set before and i really really like it i always see a set um, do this when it comes to a french and it always looks so nice so <laughs> i was so proud of myself this entire set i just felt like i pushed myself and went out of my comfort zone because i feel like that's where you learn more you learn more techniques you learn more about yourself and uh, you fall in love with more nail art basically so i went ahead um, and uh, finished up the nails i also cut up a few of those um, little caviar beads basically from this chain and i applied it on the pocket as you guys can see and also on the pants to mimic a button and then now i'm going in with my matte top coat and sealing up everything making sure that it's it's nice and matte um, these nails have to be matte because it just yeah it makes more sense and they look more realistic that way i did go off camera and apply some normal top coat over the gold um, details so that they pop a little bit more And at this point I'm going in with my cuticle oil um, I really love these nails I think they're so cool please let me know down below what you think about them um, I fell in love with these um, I've got so many other ideas I would like to try around the denim aesthetic maybe I'll create another one um, we'll see but I love the middle nail I loved the pocket I felt like it looked so realistic um, I love the Frenchies um, and of course I went ahead and took more pictures outside and this is how they turned out absolutely stunning you guys I really really loved these definitely one of my favorite sets for sure and just like that you guys we have reached the end of the video please leave a little duck in the comments um and i'll know you guys have made it this far hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are bye guys